Good afternoon, Nermac friends. Back again for a bonus video. Today I thought since I was going to do one of my favorite science projects, I would share it with you. The thing we're going to work on right now is baking chocolate cupcakes. Yes, that involves science, math, and reading. So, we're going to start. This is my recipe book. And this is my recipe for my mom's famous chocolate cupcakes. So that's the recipe I'm going to make today. And I thought I'd share it with you. And I also have it in this really nice book that my niece Kimberly put together for us. It's a little keepsake of my mother's recipes. This is her when she was young. She just got married. And it's also a fun project that maybe you and your family could do while you're at home for this um, length of time that you could make your own cookbook. You could send it out, have it printed up with nice pictures. And it's a great keepsake for the family because baking is a really great way to bring the family together and enjoy each other's company. And when I bake, I always bake with so, I'm going to start with the recipe for the chocolate cupcakes. First thing I do is preheat the oven 350 degrees. Then in a bowl like this, an oven safe bowl, I put in two squares of baker's chocolate. Two large squares, it's half each, so it's four little squares, but two big squares of baker's chocolate. And a stick of butter. So I put that in the bowl, then I put that in my 350 degree oven and get it and have it melted. So it's melted now and I let it cool because it's got to cool. Then I brew a cup of coffee, one cup. You can use decaf for the kids if you'd like. I use regular coffee. So those two ingredients, they have to sit and cool to room temperature after you've taken them out because we're going to add an egg. And what happens if we add an egg to our hot ingredients, kids? Scrambled eggs, right. We don't want scrambled eggs in our cupcakes. So you need one egg, you're going to need a teaspoon of vanilla, we're going to need a cup and a half of flour that I already have out here, and a cup of sugar that I measured to add also. So my chocolate and stick of butter has already melted and cooled. So it's the baker's chocolate and a stick of butter that's cooled. So I'm going to put that in my mixing bowl. Get that all in there, we don't miss any of the chocolate. That there and then we're going to add the cup of sugar to this so we can like cream the butter and sugar and chocolate together so we'll cream that then while that's creaming up we're going to add the cup of coffee Coffee's been cooled too to room temperature. I'm going to mix that at medium speed and add the egg. Mix that up a little and then you can slowly add the flour because we add it too quickly. It's going to be flour all over me. We don't want that. So add a little at a time. And then you mix that up. And then that's mostly mix it. I turn it down. And add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now the coffee with the chocolate. I know you, you can use decaf, but the coffee with the chocolate, that coffee brings out the flavor of chocolate. So that'll enhance the flavor of your chocolate. So it's a, a nice ingredient to use when you're baking your chocolate. Up. You don't want any lumps, but you don't want it too well mixed. You want it just right. Okay. That's looking good. Now I already have my cupcake tins lined with little, the little papers that you need. Make the cupcakes. So this doesn't really take long at all. And in no time, you will have delicious chocolate cupcakes. And then you just have to fill up your muffin tins with cupcake tins to about three quarters of the way full. Because you want one nice little top on the top of your cupcake. 
So when they come out from the oven, when they come out from the oven, you can frost them. So I'm gonna put them in the oven at 350 degrees when I fill all the 12 muffin tins up. So I'll put them in the oven for about 15 minutes and let them cool. When they're done, I'll come back with you with a recipe for the homemade chocolate frosting that we'll put on top of the cupcakes. And I will also post the ingredients on my Instagram page, Naramac Library, okay? So we'll see you in a few minutes when we make the icing. Bye.